guys, what's up? Welcome back to the kitchen. This is actually like the second time I've tried to re uh, I I didn't actually restart it. Uh, we just failed, but like nobody left. It was really interesting. But hey guys, what's up? This week, I'm hoping it's going to be a bit better um, MVM. I don't know if it's going to be a better MVM experience because casual got fixed, uh, apparently. That's the last I heard. I don't know if it's still fixed or... If it was just a yesterday thing, but I know there's something somewhere about it being fixed. Anyway, uh, let me move my, the mic back a little bit. Anyway, what's up? Hope you guys are having a good week. I got some stuff to talk about. I don't know. Whenever, whenever I start these conversations, they always feel so clunky. And that is what we call a segue. This week, I want to talk about, um, like, clunky things or askew things. I, I know it's a little bit of a strange uh, topic, but still, it's something that has uh, come into into my uh, periphery. It, I, I've made more of a realization about it as of recent, where they it's not something that's, like, aggressive. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's not something that, like, most people think about. Uh, but still, you know, things that just don't quite fit right, you know, where there's no necessarily reasons. It's just not as smooth as you want. I guess rough would also be a pretty good uh, term for it, but I'll use clunky because it sounds cooler. Uh, I guess. I, I don't know if clunky actually does sound uh, cooler. It's a very good word. Like whenever you think clunky, that is that word, you know. There are some words that, that don't match up, but... That's not what we're here to talk about today. When you have something in your life that's clunky, it just doesn't feel quite right. I don't know if this is only for me or if this is for other people as well, but I've many times struggled with something just not quite lining up. You know, everything everything should be there. Like, um, trying to start a habit, right? Where, you know, it should be easy. It should on paper be easy, but it just doesn't quite fit. I have this a lot with, uh, like, relationships. Not necessarily romantic ones, just, like, uh, meeting people and, and hanging out and stuff like that, where it feels like somebody that, um, like, I, I hang out with, it feels like I should, like, really click with them and be really good friends with them, and I, I just don't. It's just awkward and, and weird and, and not what it feels like it should be. It feels clunky, right? It doesn't feel right. At what just happened? I just, I got melted. Um, yeah, having something, an activity that's clunky. Uh, for instance, if you're trying to start a habit and you just can't, you know? For whatever reason, you simply cannot, right? Because it just it just doesn't fit, you know? Something that, um, say you're trying to start working out and like the, it it's just not like really meshing well, you know? Where instead of like uh, really feeling that pump, really feeling those gains and, and stuff like that, and really feeling the energy of working out, you just, you just don't feel it. Not that you feel sore or anything like that. You just don't feel it. It just doesn't quite work, you know? It's clunky. It's weird. It's, it's kind of there, but it's also not in a very weird sense, right? That, that's something that I would uh, kind of use as an example of a clunky activity, though you could use, like, um, sports where you you want to like a sport or you want to like a game that's a really good example say you want to like a game right it seems like a game that you would want to play um, and you just don't you just do not like the game for whatever reason you know you, you can't really think of an actual good reason but you don't like the game it just it's clunky it doesn't feel quite right there's not one thing that you could put your finger on and there's certainly like the essence of enjoyment there 
I say the aroma of enjoyment, but not the actual substance of it, you know, where you can kind of like smell it, but it's not really there. I don't know if that makes any sense, but a good example uh, for me is, wow, I die a lot, is the Snaps Cube uh, Sonic dub, uh, if you guys have ever uh, seen that. Um, Basically, um, Snaps Cube is just a YouTuber, uh, and they and a bunch of other voice actors they got they get a bunch of voice actors to dub over uh, some old 3D Sonic games. And it's it's fun, you know, it's good fun. Um, and there's definitely some things that like people are laughing the entire time. People think it's hilarious. It, it's just a jovial time, and I just don't get it. It's certainly funny. I can't lie. It's funny, but I just don't laugh. But it's not good to have things that are clunky, you know? Not not consciously, at least not for a long time, you know? I think, I don't want to make it sound like, uh, you know, whenever I say clunky, I just mean new, you know? A lot of people have a problem with new things and new experiences and meeting people and that that's its own thing and that's awkward but that doesn't necessarily mean that it is clunky you know uh crap uh that doesn't necessarily mean that it's clunky right crap oh wow well i decided to get my pilot's license today <laughs> it doesn't necessarily mean that it's clunky having something be not necessarily optimal or even uh, incredibly inoptimal and inexperienced and weird is fine. So it's very uh, easy to make the argument that that is a good part of being alive, right? The inexperience, the the trying to do something is just as good as succeeding in many scenarios. Um, and so it's not like it has a very clear cut answer but I think I I think I have a way that uh, helps at least it helps me with it um, and it's basically absolute communication because something that Matt what I imagine something being clunky is kind of like you put your shoe on backwards right where ow where half of the shoe not half of the shoe what am I talking about no you put it on backwards so you put the left left side on your right foot, right? Where it still works. Your shoe still works. It'll it's still a shoe. It just feels wrong, right? It just doesn't feel right. That's the best way that I can put it. And the reason why that's a problem is because while, you know, um, if you only wear your shoe backwards once um, or for like a day, it's going to be mildly inconvenient, but you cannot continue to do that. That will hurt your feet. That will frick you up. You can't continuously have your shoe be on backwards. <laughs> There's a reason why your shoe is made the way it is, right? Um, and so basically the way to, to put on your shoe um, is to, to put it on. A lot of the time I'd say um, that clunkiness and that uncomfortability, uh, that estrangement, if you will, it comes because you know, let's say, to use the shoe as an example, um, you put on the shoe, you put on the shoe, and it just, you didn't realize because you were going somewhere fast, so you put on the shoe, and it, like, oh crap, I put it on backwards, that doesn't feel right, that's not right, um, whatever, right, uh, and you don't realize it, you don't realize it to start off with, right, but you just have to deal with it, uh, and so, if you try to continue on with that backwards shoe, you're gonna get hurt. You're, you're gonna frick up your feet. So the way to fix it is to take off your shoe and put it back on. And I mean that in not necessarily the most linear sense, uh, but in a sense for a real world application would be understand that things feel weird Try and, and just communicate why. Because most of the time, it's probably because the introduction 
was kind of strange. You know, whenever you first meet, you first met somebody, um, you know, the introduction was strange. Whenever you first did something, the beginning, what the frick? The beginning was weird, you know, stuff like that. And the best way to do it is to, like, write out what's happening, figure out why it's happening, which is easier whenever you write it out, um, and then make movements, you know, take steps, enact change to actually uh, make it so that it doesn't feel wrong. You know, you got to take off the shoe to put it back on. And it's really important, you know, because you can't have... You can't walk around with the wrong shoes on, right? That's just goofy. That's just that's just you. You know, it's like the 1990 a Goofy movie. Um, it's it will eventually mess up your feet. It will mess up your feet. It'll mess up your back. And in a relationship, you know, with people, it can it can completely skew the relationship. It's on a bad foundation. And sometimes relationships based off of bad foundations are able to get somewhere, but a lot of the times they end up crumbling, you know, whether that's a friendship or a romantic relationship or a boss or uh, something that is, that is uh, work-related. You have to be on an understanding, right? It, it, the air around you can't feel weird, and the best way to do that is to talk to them. And if they're not a person that you can talk to, uh, then that's not weird. That means that they suck. <laughs> like, seriously. It, in that scenario, then it's like the estrangement is taken out of it. Because after all, you know, you just don't feel like you can talk to them. Right? So that's not on you. You shouldn't feel weird. You should just feel negative or nothing. Which is... A lot better than feeling uh, like kind of weird, you know, kind of being let on where it's like, ooh, is this going to happen? Is it not? It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. But, yeah, I think it is something that is critically important to fix uh, to give you a better understanding of not only uh, those around you, but yourself, right? Uh, to be able to improve improve and work on something uh, and not rob yourself of a perfectly good relationship you know not rob yourself of an interaction a friendship a hobby you know whatever it be don't take that from yourself you know just just try and clear the air and if it doesn't work then at least things won't be clunky they'll just be weird. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm weird, so I can deal with weird, right? <laughs> they won't be clunky. They'll just be really awkward. <laughs> it's like, hey, man, uh, like, what, what's going the, the vibe's weird. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is completely normal. What? Okay. Never mind, then. Uh, forget I said anything. <laughs> uh, that would be embarrassing. It, you know. It happens. I don't know if this... Uh, ironically, I think this this uh, episode was a little clunky. And that's okay. I'll be honest with you. The reason why was because I just had a kind of a... It wasn't a weird week. It was a really good... Uh, today was really good. I was... Okay. Frick you. Alright. Cool. Today was really good. I was listening to Chuckle Sandwich. I, I was grinning ear to ear. <laughs> ear to ear. I was, I, I was, uh, as they say, buzzing like a mink whale. I have no clue what that means, but they said it in the chuckle sandwich. And so I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that it's, it's something. Do you guys have anything that is really clunky in your own lives? Uh, whether that's a hobby or a relationship that just doesn't quite it doesn't quite work, you know? It doesn't quite mesh as well as you would have liked or as, as well as you would have hoped. And it kind of sucks, you know? And if you do, uh, do you have any plans on fixing it? How do you plan on fixing it if you plan on fixing it at all?